Hey there, today I'm showing you a lot of simple Christmas card ideas that you can easily recreate. So for the first one of our cards, we need some tape. I'm using washi tape. This one is from Ikea. I really like those. They have the right stickiness. Uh, they are very durable. So I really recommend the ones from Ikea. And now I'm doing these lines with watercolors. And for all of those Christmas ideas, I'm using Arteza card paper. This comes in a pack and you can just make cards out of these so I thought that they would be perfect for a project like this and yeah here you can see that it did some lettering and some ornaments and now I'm already on to the next one and this one is super simple you just do circles and then play around with colors and with water you just go back and forth adding more water here you can see it and then you let it dry and go over it with a gel pen I used a white gel pen and added in some details so this is super simple but I think it's so cute and it's it's perfect <laughs> and yeah I will talk about the paper a little bit more later on uh, what I also wanted to say is that all of these cards will be for my patreon supporters in November so you can sign up to my patreon in November so now if you are watching this video when it comes out and the first I think 16 people I think I did 16 cards and I think I have about five people already in this tier and they obviously get one as well so um, about 10 people who sign up now will get original Christmas cards from me and I will also write a little letter in there and everything and this will be along with the mail rewards so you have to join the $18 tier where you get all of the mail rewards and then you will get one of these in November as well. So I will send it out at the beginning of December and hopefully it will arrive before Christmas. I hope it should. I mean, there's 24 days. So here we are currently onto the next card and you see that I started off with watercolor and I used a lot of water and after I did the painting, I let it dry and again went back with a white gel pen. I think that that makes it pop and uh, makes it so much cuter and more interesting it is a simple concept but I really like the outcome I also wrote a little Merry Christmas below this and my lettering is very basic so you don't have to do anything fancy this is just the the font that I used when I learned how to write so this is just my how do you call that ha ha hand Nor normal font I have no idea how you call that but yeah and I just uh, made a little bit more swirls and made it a little bit thicker <laughs> and that's the card and I will show you all of the finished cards at the end as well so this is a little bit quicker and all of the finished cards will be at the end so don't worry you can see them in the end and enjoy the finished results and here I just did the same concept I did this little box and played around with the colors a lot this video is sped up a lot because I did so many cards but the concepts are simple enough I don't think that you need a step-by-step -step tutorial of these because they're quite simple and I'm sure you're not gonna do all of those ideas I think unless you really have to create a lot of cards like I had to but you can just pick your favorite ones I'd love to see what you create you can always tag me on Instagram at visual mind art my socials are always linked in the description so I'd love to see your Christmas cards with all of those ideas and here this one is super simple just uh, did this basic shape and then again with the white gel pen I really recommend getting a white gel pen or any kind of white pen to do those details I love the white jelly roll pens I don't know I 
really uh, prefer those over anything else that I've tried. So I will link all of the products that I used, or at least I'll try to link all of them in the description box of the video. So if you have any questions about the products, just check it out. And if I left anything out, just let me know and I will add it as well. So here you can see that I also added in a few shadows. It makes it pop and much more interesting also a little merry christmas below it i'm so excited to send out all of these cards this is gonna be so much fun and yeah here we have another one this is probably my favorite i think and I already have someone in mind who will probably get this card because I have a favorite Patreon supporter. And this was actually the first person that joined my Patreon that was not one of my friends. And I think they will get this card because I really love this one. I love the idea of this one. It's a Christmas ornament. And then you just do all those little plants. It's very simple, but but I think in combination, it looks very delicate. It looks detailed and I really loved this one. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. I also wrote Happy Holidays on there. I don't know, I think Happy Holidays is probably the better thing to say because not everyone celebrates Christmas. But I didn't want to write happy holidays on each and every card. So I just switched it up a little bit. And yeah, we have the same concept here again. You see that I used a lot of water and then just let everything dry in between and went over it again. That's the concept that I used most of the time just because it's very simple and very fun. And I didn't have to do a lot of layers. I could just let it dry in between. I mean, I had to go back and forth between all of these and then later on in editing make them uh, change up the order of the footage again so that was a little bit of extra work but I really enjoyed this process and the paper is okay it's not the best watercolor paper that I've ever used so I would not recommend it for layered delicate things but for something like that it was nice enough uh, I really liked it I will link it with all of the other products in the description box and yeah here you can see that I did a snowflake this is another favorite of mine but unfortunately I spilled glue over it later on I'm still gonna send it out and I hope that the person that gets it doesn't mind it's not too bad you can still see everything it's just it has a little bit of glue on there and kind of mad at myself that I did that but oh well things like that happen and yeah I did this snowflake Flake and then some more simpler snowflakes all around it. This is a very easy concept as well and I think that it looks so fun and I'm also very delicate and you can add so many details on it and super cool idea. I really did so well. <laughs> so here I have this Christmas tree and this is just green and then a darker green on top of it and then this little star and then I did some white ornaments uh, with the gel pen again on there. You can also use gouache for this because gouache is opaque and then you can do different colors of ornaments. You could also use acrylic paints or anything that's opaque on top of your tree but I just went for the white jelly roll pen because it was much quicker and I I was on a tight schedule here <laughs> and here you can see that I prepared this paper this is a different paper uh, I think I used some leftover Hanemühle paper I'm not completely sure but I just messed around with this I put colors on there I put salt on there because it gives you some effects and I don't know if you can even see the salt effect and yeah, there was a little fly dying on my painting. I didn't remember that that was in the footage. I didn't want to kill it, but I had to get rid of it. So, well, <laughs> yeah. And here I'm doing some circles and I really should get a better compass now because... Uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna get a better compass now because I'm using round objects all the time, but it's just as simple as that you can use round objects. And then I cut them into circles and now we can make ornaments out of these. And this is so cool because it is another very simple idea. I got three cards out of this. So three cards will be very simple with this style and I think that it looks really cool and it's kind of three-dimensional because you have those layers and this was just so much fun I really recommend this and I have to do more of this I saw this on another artist's Instagram that they started to cut out things like this and then drew over it so they had more layers on their paintings and I really like this idea I think I'm gonna do this again at some point with a different concept so here you can see that I repeated the same thing that I did earlier Earlier with the doodling over top of it and then we also have those strings and yeah that's the all of those three cards and I just did different kinds of doodles on them and you can really go wild with this you can paint anything on there you can make it super detailed as well and then I decided to use my new acrylic markers and I really like those acrylic markers but I didn't like them on this paper I mean I have to say I'm not surprised it is more of a watercolor type paper and they're not made for this paper they're made for more flat smooth surfaces and yeah the paper you can see it here it's not too bad but it was a lot of work to spread the paint all over the paper and it just took way too much time I mean I like the finished result it has this clean simple look to it but yeah, I don't know. It took way too much time. So I decided that this is the only card that I did with the markers, even though I enjoyed it, but it was a hassle. And it's a very simple design here as well. It's just a Christmas tree with some presents below it and some ornaments on here. And we also have the star on top. And then I created this simple outline and I fixed the little things here later so this is gonna be fixed in the end <laughs> and then I decided to use my koi brush pens and this surprised me a lot because they don't work on every paper and I wasn't sure if they would work on this paper but they did they worked so well on this paper and I've used better quality watercolor paper and it worked uh, less well it worked worse I don't know but it worked really nicely on this paper so if you have these koi brush pens I don't know if they're actually meant to be watercolor pens because it says nothing on the label but I got them in a mystery subscription box and they sold me those as are as watercolor pens so they told us that they are meant to be that meant to be used that way but they only worked on specific paper as these watercolor brush pens and they work so nicely on this paper I was so surprised I was not prepared for this <laughs> and so I did three of those and I really enjoyed this process this was probably the most enjoyable process of all these cards I just did those very simple landscapes and I could have just used watercolors for this but I thought that it was just so much fun to use these brush pens. I don't know why it's so much more fun because maybe it's because I'm so used to watercolors at this point and it's just fun to switch things up every once in a while. So here you can see that I got this gradient and it worked so nicely on this paper. Yeah and you can see I have these mountains in the background and then the simple trees in the foreground blended everything together it had to dry for a while and here we had a little hiccup I'm not gonna edit this out this is just way too much work so here we 
are finishing this piece and you already had a little spoiler for the next one. Uh, here you can see that I added in some little details with the gel pen as well. I added stars to the sky, a little moon, and then I decided to add these sparkles to the tree. I kind of thought that it should look like snow. I don't know if it looks like snow or if it's, it just looks like sparkles. And here we are onto the piece that you already had a spoiler for. I'm excited to see if the footage uh, is missing here now <laughs> but oh well I had to edit so much for this video so yeah I'm just excited that I got to do it and finish it on time so I used those pens again and I wanted to do a more tropical and unusual scene and I thought why not do this for the last card idea and I did uh, some palm trees on the sunset because it's not uh, not everywhere on the world it is this wintry scene and cold when it's Christmas you can celebrate it on the beach just as well and I decided to do this here and I Obviously, I smudged the a little bit on the bottom. I actually put one of my envelopes to send out on there. And now there's a smudge on one of the envelopes, but it was already finished and closed. And so I decided to send it out anyway. So if you get an envelope where there's a little brown smudge, it comes from this card because I was somehow stupid enough to put it on there, even though it was still wet. Don't ask me why. I just put it on there and now I have this smudge, but I managed to get rid of it on this card it's not too bad so yeah so here you can see that we are adding in the Christmas theme by adding in those ornaments and lights onto the palm trees I love this design because it's just so different compared to the others it's just something else and I am, I'm so happy with this and here you can see all of our cards so there are these cut out cards with all those doodles on top of them we have four of those in total so three are cutouts and one is the one that we painted the ornaments for so here's the third one and then we also have the ones where we painted all the circles here you can see that one and here is our little tree with the doodles on top. It, they are all a very similar style. And here is our little acrylic marker piece and our watercolor Christmas tree. So many Christmas trees here. And the next Christmas tree. They are all so different. And here's our little gift card. I love the colors. I love that there are more unusual colors on all of them. They're not just this red and green color scheme. So I really love that we did this. So if you want to get any of these cards or you want to get a chance to get one of these, they will be sent out randomly then um, make sure to join my Patreon in November November 2020. So if you sign up until the end of November, November <laughs> then you will get one of these cards if you are one of the first 10 people to sign up. And if we get like 12 people or something like that then I will make new cards because it will be really unfair if just two people don't get the card so if we are just a little bit above the 10 people then I will just create new cards so make sure to check that out I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you liked those ideas let me know what kinds of videos you'd like to see me do in the future and like I said all the supplies are listed in the description box. I hope you're having a nice day. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!